you know, Murdoch, uh, we work, we're in new Orleans one night and we go downtown. I think we were already downtown at the, the missile auditorium on that show, big show. And he, uh, I, I got a van. He loved to drive that van. And because I didn't have to drive and I loved it too. So we go to this bar that Murdoch knew of and had, had contacts, you know, bouncers and the bartender or what have you. And we go in there and this, uh, and a beautiful woman, uh, and he kind of lock eyes. And so she comes over and sits with us. I mean, I, I thought, I, ostensibly, I thought all we were going to do is have a couple of beers to get on the road. Uh, so I don't think we, we didn't even consider drinking and driving. There wasn't an issue. Yay or nay. That's not good. So anyhow, uh, Murdoch and her getting friendly. They're not kissing, but they're snuggling. Okay. Cuddling, cuddling Conrad. Conrad, you, do you ever cuddle? I'm, I'm a known cuddler. Yeah. I'm, I'm quite know. cuddly. All right. You, you are. And I'm, I love you for it. And, uh, we should get life size Conrad dolls for Christmas. Shipping would be outrageous. Well, I can just get to pick them up the front door. <laughs> Come on by. I'll have, your, I'll have your bear ready. So, uh, God damn. I lost my train of thought. Uh, he, uh, Murdoch's in the back seat. Cover. Murdoch, Murdoch's got to go to the bathroom. Oh. And he went, he, he decided to go to the bathroom just after our lady friend, his lady friend, uh, had to go. Problem was they both used the same men's bathroom. She was a female impersonator or a trans oh. transsexual or something, but she, it was a man, right? Allegedly with a regular, with all the equipment in place and Murdoch was appalled. That would not go well with the captain redneck, uh, persona le legacy persona. Yes. Thank you. And so he knocked him out. Oh, Murdoch knocked the sun is colder than a cucumber. My I goodness. assume cucumbers, chill cucumbers are cold, but nonetheless. And, uh, and he, he grabbed me up and said, let's go. And in the meet, while they were gone, uh, this guy comes over from the, it worked in the bar and says, you know, Hey, I was Jim. Then I didn't know there was no JR. He said, Jim, uh, you know, that woman is talking to Dickie, talking to Murdoch ain't a woman. And so by then the hustle and bustle, if you're doing a movie scene, it, it spills out. And, uh, the lady is not cold. We, we leave the bar almost like we'd robbed it frantically running down the street to get back in my van parked down by the river and Murdoch, I we're getting, we get in, sit down. He's dry. You get up. He's going to drive. He's got to drive. He's a redneck. And so he's, he's, he's sitting in the driver's seat. All of a sudden he reaches over and grabs him by the shirt like this. And God damn it. Uh, scared the hell out of me. And he said, if you ever, ever tell this story to anyone, <laughs> I'm going to kill you. <laughs> and so I kept that story secret until after Dickie passed away. Kept my word. My goodness. What a cast of characters here. <laughs> uh, let, let's